Hey everybody, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're taking a quick look at the GSI Outdoors Glacier Tiffin. This is going to be a nice way to transport any kind of food, whether that's some snacks, uh, maybe some liquid beverage or liquids like soup or favorite iced tea, coffee or anything like that. Uh, but a tiffin typically was going to be kind of your lunch. Um, so you could put anything in here that you want to keep fresh. The only thing that you can't put in here is something carbonated or um, things that are going to ferment quickly or are already fermented. So no kombucha in here. Um, and it also says no uh, like warm milk or anything like that because it can just spoil pretty quickly. But if you want to put anything else in here, like again, um, maybe you want to put in some cucumbers for your salad or you want to put in some um, crackers and you want to keep them fresh and keep them going stale or a cup of soup or chili or something like that to have with you whenever you're on your hike, maybe some curry, kind of a traditional hark back to the tiffin um, origins, whatever the case might be. I think these just kind of feel nice in the hand. They're all rounded off and they just feel kind of like they're full of something comforting and, and um, nice. So let's take a closer look and talk a little bit more about the size to give you a better idea of what you can actually fit inside. Now this will hold about 14 fluid ounces. So that's about a cup and um, well, a cup is eight ounces, so this would be a cup and three quarter, or yeah, cup and three quarters, so just shy of two cups. You want to make sure that you don't fill it past where the um, stopper is. You don't want to overfill it because that can crack this and damage it. Uh, you don't really want to use it for canning or, or freezing or anything like that, but you can put this in the dishwasher. It is BPA free. Um, of course, you don't want to put it in the microwave. It's metal. Stainless steel should last you just about forever. Really um, shouldn't have any issues with durability with this, but if something were to happen and it gets really dented up and banged up, you can always recycle it, and that's something that I really like. Uh, it is insulated, so it should keep your hot stuff hot, cold stuff cold. The best way to maximize that is to prep the canister before you put anything inside. So if you're gonna be putting something hot in here, like maybe some curry or soup, you wanna put some hot water in there, let it sit for about five minutes so that the container will get warm and then pour out the water and pour in whatever you're gonna be taking with you. Same thing if you're doing cold stuff. Put some ice water in there, let it chill for five minutes, and then put up whatever you're gonna be transporting. The lid gives you a nice spot to attach to your pack or your belt. You can easily um, put a carabiner on there or something like that. String a rope through it, whatever you want to do. Um, as far as the size overall, it's about three and a half inches in diameter. The height, just with the lid on there, it's about six and three quarter inches tall. So with that being three and a half inches in diameter, it probably will fit in some of your bigger cup holders, but it might not fit in every vehicle. Uh, my car, I think it's about three inches, so this might just be a little bit big for that, but um, it should work for a lot of other places, especially if you have kind of the wider style of cup holders. Weighs about a, pound, whoops, about a pound, so not the lightest thing ever, but it does give you a lot of durability, and it's definitely going to keep your stuff um, cold or hot as you want it. It's covered by a limited lifetime warranty and that's pretty much all there is to it for our quick look at the GSI Outdoors Glacier Tiffin. I hope this has been helpful in deciding if this is the right one for you. We do have a lot of other stuff here for your camping kitchen, RVing, and more. So be sure to check that out right here at eTrailer.com and thanks for watching.